Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the best baked meatballs. I've been making this recipe for years and people love it. It really is the best baked meatball. Start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees and lightly grease a baking sheet or a 9 by 13 pan. Now we can put together our meatballs. I have about one pound of ground beef here in my bowl. Now, I don't like to go too lean on meatballs, so I'm using an 85-10 mixture. Then we can pour in our wet ingredients, which includes one third of a cup of milk and two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Now, I know a lot of people use an egg in their meatballs. I don't. My ingredients stand on their own without using an egg to glue it all together. Now we can add in our dry ingredients, including three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs, a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and this is freshly grated, and then our seasonings, which is two teaspoons of basil, a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. The red pepper adds just a little kick. Last up, we'll add in two crushed garlic cloves. Now you can either use a spoon to mix this up or use your hands. And I figure since I'm gonna use my hands to roll the meatballs anyways, I might as well get down and dirty. You just get in there and knead it together until everything is combined. Once it's well combined, you can pinch off a little bit and roll it into a ball. I like to make mine slightly smaller than a golf ball. And place it on your baking sheet. Now you can really make them any size you want. Um, if they're smaller, they will cook faster, and if they're larger, they'll cook slower. So you'll need to adjust your cooking time accordingly. So just keep going until you've used up all of your meat. You should end up with about 16 to 20 meatballs. Now at this point, you can either bake them or you can pop them in the freezer for later use. In fact, I like to usually make a double batch of this and freeze half of them for an easy weeknight meal. But today, I'm gonna bake them. So put them in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. We like our meatballs to be on the crispy side, so I usually go the upper end of the time range. You can serve this up any way you want, on a meatball sub or our favorite, spaghetti and meatballs. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description as well as a link to my homemade fire roasted spaghetti sauce. It's really good. Be sure to subscribe and check out my channel where you can find more than 100 restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.